what's happening, Life Gainers? Back in here with another stock building, financial building video, trying to help you all navigate these murky waters of financial stability. And this video is going to be about doing leaps, a great strategy for someone who wants to get a stock, don't want to pay for a full hundred shares of the stock, but you believe in a company long term. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so when I drop videos, you get them. Bear with me, people. I'm trying as hard as I can to run both YouTube channels and keep these tips that are probably more important than what I do on my big channel here because you guys are making those gains in your finances. So I'm going to give you guys a scenario, okay? Let's just say that you see a stock that you love or you believe is going to go up or you find a stock that's highly undervalued, like Carnival Cruise. It's undervalued right now, and we know that once we can get our hands around Corona, it's probably going to go back up in value to some degree. And you want 100 shares, but you can't afford 100 shares. Well, I've got the solution for you. It's called a LEAP option contract. Now, what is a LEAP option contract? Ladies and gentlemen, the term LEAP just simply stands for Long-Term Equity Anticipation Security. So basically what they're trying to say is you're just going to buy a call that lasts, that extends at the very least 12 months and can go even longer than that. But here's the clinical definition. What are long-term equity anticipation securities? Long-term equity anticipation securities are publicly traded option contracts with expiration dates that are longer than one year and typically up to three years from issue date. They are functionally identical to most other listed options with the exception longer times until expiration. With all option contracts, a LEAPS contract grants a buyer the right but not the obligation to purchase or sell depending upon the option is a call or a put, respectively, the underlying asset at the determined price. So that is your clinical definition of a LEAP. Now, let's just take you in here and show you an example of one. So if I was going to do Carnival, well, let me just take you in here and show you examples of ones I've already done. All right. So I got a leap on SoFi. As you can see, it doesn't expire to 2024. And I've got a leap on HIMS that doesn't expire till um, 2024 because I believe both of these stocks are going to take off. And the cheapest one of the group is this one right here called HIMS. And you can see, you know, the contract cost me 470 bucks because remember, one contract is 100 shares, and then you basically multiply that by 100. So it cost me 470. I'm already up 80 bucks. That's the power of buying them. But ladies and gentlemen, there's a strategy that goes deeper than just seeing a stock that you like and just buying it. You also got to pick the right strike. You got to look at one particular Greek. And let me go to Carnival so that I can explain that in greater detail. So here we are with Carnival Cruise, right? And if I believe that this is going to go up over the next couple of years and I want to buy 100 shares and hold it, you would come in here, you pick buy a call, and you pick the expiration date as far out as you can afford it, okay? So I'm going to pick January, 29, January 19, 2024. The secret to picking the correct position is when you click on this thing, you see this little thing down here that says Delta. What is the Delta? Basically, it's the change that's going to happen whenever a stock goes up by a dollar. So example, right now, Carnival Cruise is $23.72. If it goes up by a dollar and you own this contract, for you, it's going to be $1. It's going to be that exact price with 66 cents. So basically, every time a stock goes up by a dollar and you own a contract, you add whatever this delta is. So, you know, 66 times, times 6.66 times 100, you do the math. But the delta you are looking for is something around 0.90. So that means you're going to be way down here deep in the money. So you're just going to scroll down, and as far as they'll let you go is here. So on this stock, the, the, the lowest you could get to is 89% on your delta. Why do you do that? Because when you're that deep in the money, you already have intrinsic value on the stock, meaning that if it was to go crazy the wrong way, 
you can get out and still have some value in the stock. So whenever you're going to be doing these leaps, ladies and gentlemen, you want to get deep in the money. And you remember it's below the, the strike, the share price. We're down here looking at $12. You're deep in the money. And now it just hit 90, 90. And so if you needed to get out of this stock, let's just say the worst things happened in the marketplace. You've already got some intrinsic value. You can jump right on out of this thing and know that you haven't lost really any money. And so, ladies and gentlemen, that is the power of leaps. And that's why I highly encourage you, if you're planning to buy a stock anyway, use this leap strategy and just sit on it. Now, mind you, you can always get out of these stocks, ladies and gentlemen, before the expiration date. So in some cases, you might make $1,000 before the expiration date comes. And if you want to get out the stock, let me take you in one of mine. All you would simply do is just exercise your way out. So you see where it says sell to close? That's all you would do. Click review and you can get out of it. Um, I think that a lot of people have felt as though that once you get into an ex once you get into a contract, you are stuck having to wait till that, that contract expires. No, use your power and exercise it. And let me show you one more example of one that I like, which is Bank of America. The banks are making a huge resurgence and you might as well get you some of that in your portfolio. So you're going to come over here, you're going to buy a call and you want to shoot this thing out as far as you can go. There you go. And then just scroll down here and look for a delta that is close to 0.90. That's not close enough for me. Um, 89 is good. So I would do 89. And this is the one you want to get. Now, mind you, ladies and gentlemen, if you had to buy 100 shares of Bank of America at this price, you'd be paying 4,300 some odd dollars already versus using the leap strategy. And if you do this with a 0.88 or 0.90 Delta, you're only going to be paying 1,700 for the stock to control 100 shares, which basically allows you to get the same privileges you would if you spent the whole $4,300 to get the stock. So ladies and gentlemen, this is another one of the secrets that great investors use to leverage risk and maximize their finances. And I hope this strategy can help you guys as well. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like the video. Please comment, subscribe, get yourself that life game. Start using leaps in your investing strategy, my people. It's going to help you return more money on what you put into it. And until that next sex is hell video.